My mother started the business in 1993. 27 years is my whole lifetime in this store. This is my mom's legacy and her history and all her hard work and all her tears and all her hard labor. And now I may not be able to make it and we may have to let it go. My name is Luz Arango. I am the co-owner of Lupita's Corner Market and we're located in Los Angeles, California. When my mom opened up the business, this was Lupita's Market, Lupita's Market because of her name. She was a old school entrepreneur and being a woman in a time where there wasn't a lot of uh, women owning small businesses is not easy. She was fighting her way through and I would just remember my mom going to multiple places, waking up at five in the morning to save 10, 15, 20 cents per item. Just knowing that she did all that, she still took the time to try to do small things for us to make us happy. This is where my brother and I grew up, and this corner market means the world to me, and I know that it means a lot to a lot of people as well. This market has always been a place where kids call home. Sometimes in our community, families lose their, their family members, and we would fundraise for them here, and my mom really has always been that kind of person, and you know, you just gotta give back. You know, whatever little you have that you can give to someone who has less, just do it. To keep a small business and a little market going, you know, it's it's really difficult and most markets are actually have to close. You work holidays, you work all the rough days. I didn't I didn't grow up with, you know, the Thanksgiving dinners or big Christmas dinners. We usually worked on those days or my mom had to work so we weren't able to see her on those days. You know, her body had basically you know, broken down from all the hard work that she's done and other health issues that she had. And the last few years, I remember in high school, my mom has had always respiratory issues and asthma, and we spend about two to three holidays in the hospital because, you know, she was sick. The market slowly started kind of deteriorating in a sense. We really started having that conversation about ha selling the business. It was very difficult to see my mom have to leave you know you have a strong connection with your with your business with a place where you grew up with the community and it really um was really sad that we were going to have to leave at some point it was a conversation that a hard conversation that we had and you know obviously we we're always going to take care of my mom make sure that she was okay and unfortunately when you have you're an entrepreneur and you don't have you know a 401k you're not going to have a retirement plan you're you know it's very hard when you're living day by day and the business started coming into that place where you're just fighting for the last 10 cents of the dollar every single day so it was a, a reality we had to face i just think that in my life you know I can't see it enough. My mother taught me how to persevere. My mother taught me how to fight. My mother taught me how to continue no matter how hard things got. I knew that I wasn't going to go out without a fight and I knew that I had to continue to figure out ways to bring in more income and, and, and try to sustain this business and to do it for my mom and do it for our community, do it for our family. One of my many passions is to help others and I knew that keeping this business I would be able to do it. This is my mom's legacy and her history and all her hard work and all her tears and all her hard labor. And now her kids get to be the second generation owner and sustain and maintain the same kind of um, values that we have that she taught us. If you're in specifically this community, it's very hard to get quality food. Every single person who wants to eat healthy but doesn't make enough money cannot eat healthy. A corner market has a lot of influence when it comes to the community. You have the ability to feed people. You have the ability to control the way you sell and what you sell. I had this idea, I'm like, what if I bring in more fruits and vegetables? What if I do some smoothies and I make some sandwiches, you know, with our prep license and see what we can do? And I saw that people were really reacting to it and they really liked it. My mom retired and we actually had a blessing happen to us and we were one day just here and the LA Food Policy Council walked into our doors. It completely changed our life. Because of that, we were able to get funding. We were able to, you know, speak to people that wanted to help us and help the community. I took in and said yes to 
every single thing that was offered to me, no matter how much work I had to put into it and no matter how much time I had to do it, it completely changed everything and we ended up were picked for a complete transformation through the organization and we found partners and we did some funding through that and that's how we were able to create Lupita's this corner market and, and it is how it is today. At the end of the day, the reason that we're here, it's not only to keep my mother's legacy alive and to keep the business going, but there can be constant businesses that can come in and walk in and we can leave someday. But nobody's gonna have that history like we do 27 years, the connection with the community. And it makes me really happy that I am growing this business and that I get to help my family. I get to continue my mother's legacy. That I get to make an impact and whoever thinks that you know, you can't do it, you can, because you can start out of nothing. And my direction was always with food, and food brought me here. At the moment, you know, I still work two jobs. I work a night job, and I work my business during the day. But when you're actually passionate about what you like, and you're actually passionate about what you love, you are willing to work those 40, 50, 60 hours a week to pay your bills and to actually follow your dreams. I am Luz Arango, I am the co-owner of Lupita's Corner Market, and I am following my food dreams. Oh yes!